So I thought today we'd go back into Freeman Colby Volume 1 and we'll pick a scene to draw together like maybe, how about when they enlist in the Union Army in August 1862. Now you can draw along with your own paper and pencil. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a frame around the outside edge of the page. This protects our drawings by keeping them away from the outer edge of the page and we know exactly the space we have to draw into now. I'm going to draw Freeman Colby first. I always start with a circle for a head and his body is a triangle coming down off it like this. Keyhole shape. And then we'll put two dots for eyes and a single simple line for mouth. Sometimes it takes me a couple tries to get that circle just the way I think I want it. And we'll add four lines for hairs on his left forehead, my right side, his left side. And since he's not enlisted yet, he's in civilian garb, so he has a collar and buttons, but not a uniform. And I think we'll give him two legs here and two arms, of course. Now, remember, I've never seen a photograph of Freeman Colby, have no idea what he looked like. This is just my stick figure stand in for his character. Oh, and he's a civilian, so we should give him a civilian hat. Maybe just a simple brim and a curve and we'll darken it a little. We'll ink over it later and make it black. Now Jonas Bacon, hmm, I don't know what he looked like either. Never found a picture of him. But uh, we'll give him a circle head and a triangle body and two dots for eyes and a mouth. We'll make him look a little surprised. I give him four hairs, two off to either side, and I give him a nose for some reason. Makes him look really different from Freeman Colby. Uh, two legs, we'll give him a collar and buttons. Maybe a little scarf there. And since he's surprised, his arms go out a little bit more and we'll give him, I don't know, a little civilian hat. And maybe some eyebrows for expression. You know, now that I think of it, he kind of needs a jacket and we'll give him striped pants. And now Freeman Colby looks a little plain, so we'll give him a jacket and maybe a checked vest. I don't know what they like to wear, but period clothes. Now, Newton Colby, I start with a circle, I bring the top out to the side, and I bring the bottom in. That gives him sort of a goofy overbite, because he's kind of a goofy character in the story. Uh, two eyes, we'll open his mouth and darken it in a little. I don't know what he looked like either, but I'll give him four hairs on one side and a couple askew on the other. Give him the triangle body and some hints of clothing. Let's bring some arms down here. So far, our characters are just kind of standing here. Oh, don't forget Newton's buck teeth. That makes him look a little extra goofy. Now, this next guy we do have a photograph for. This is Captain Richardson of Company K. So I draw all the Massachusetts soldiers with squarish heads, just to differentiate them from the New Hampshire guys. He's got a stern smile. We'll give him this chin beard like we see in the photo. And... Maybe the same triangle body, except he's wearing a captain's uniform. So that means shining buttons down the front. And I don't get too far into the details other than that. Two legs, two arms, shoulder straps. And there's Captain Richardson. Now, we've been thinking about faces and characters so far. I also want to think about actions. So let's move his arms. Uh, we'll have him holding maybe an open book. Now, this is the regimental roll. Uh, this is what the men would sign. Once you sign that, you are officially enlisted in the army. So he's going to be holding up a pen. And maybe that pen's dripping a little ink here. And we'll put some lines on the pages. And on those lines, we'll put some signatures of enlisted men. And there's a blank line there. And Newton's looking at that pen, and Newton wants to join the army. This is his dream in 1862. So maybe his action is he's reaching for that pen. And boy, he doesn't just reach for that pen. He's also going to, let's bring this arm up. We'll give him a flag. We'll give it some motion lines. He is waving a flag. Uh, he's just so excited. Now, Freeman Colby, let's see, we'll move his arm up like this because he's thinking about it. He hasn't decided yet. Now let's add some setting details. We'll give him some grass along the ground here. Yeah, maybe a little more grass, make it look kind of solid underneath him. Maybe over Captain Richardson, we'll put a banner. 
And now we're going to add some text because on that banner it'll say enlist here, 39th Mass Volunteer Regiment. And we'll show some other guys marching into camp there. They've already enlisted. And then we'll add a title, The Civil War Diary of Freeman Colby, August 1862. So that's adding uh, text and setting details because the setting is place and time. And I like to add my website. And now, uh, continuing in, in what I call the pie process, P-I-E, pencil, ink, erase. I'm going to trace over all these pencil lines with a nice black pen. This is a pretty cheap felt tip flare pen, but you can see the uh, difference it makes when you trace over your tentative pencil lines with clear black ink. It makes the whole picture a lot easier to see. I try to get all my mistakes out when I pencil and I experiment with different ideas. And now when I'm inking, I'm basically tracing my pencil lines with a few little changes. Oh, that grass looks nice inked. We'll add some more grass in there as we go. Now with our marker, we can darken those hats, put the frame on, and there we go. This picture is ready to share. Oh, we do need to erase those stray pencil lines. Now you can experiment with this. You can change some details or add color. Your picture doesn't have to look exactly like mine. Uh, but this gives you a little sense of how I'm using cartoons and comics to bring out the stories and characters in Freeman Colby's actual diary. So have fun with it. Good luck.